How does a guy manage his emotions and expectations when he's going on a date with a woman that he really, really values? Because I will tell you this, it can be an emotional roller coaster. Yeah, for sure. That's why we got to talk about this viral Reddit post. Joining us today for this conversation is social media guru, consultant, influencer from our hometown of Seattle, Nelson Young. What up? Good to see you, brother. What's up, guys? Thanks for having me on the show. You know what I always see? I always see your comments on the next shark and the jackfruit post that I'm leaving comments on too. All the time. I mean, it's just, it's such a divisive, it's such a very interesting topic, especially around online dating. It's real. And as an Asian American male, we have different dynamics at play. Yeah, Yeah. for sure. So make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications because this was ultimately a very in-depth viral Reddit thread. Yeah, and hopefully what we say in this video is somewhat advice and somewhat helpful you know it's just we're three bros who have experience in this i think we've all gone through our version of this story maybe on a lesser extent or larger extent but let's talk about it so anyways guys we have this reddit post this guy says man how do i manage my emotions when online dating uh especially dating high quality women and maybe that's his issue is because he's already labeling people high quality low quality he just means hot man he just means Pushing his limits of yeah. what his looks max uh, is Desirable probably. women, right? Anyways, uh, to summarize, basically, this guy got out of a 1.5-year relationship, so he's online dating. He has no problem with getting dates, but what happens is he meets this girl. She happens to be white, blonde hair, blue-eyed, right? So he gets very excited. He's like, wow, this girl is everything I needed. She's like a med school student. She's very smart, good family. He's hyped up. He takes her on two dates, good dates in his opinion, And on the third one, it feels, eh, okay, the third date's whatever. And then she breaks it to him, drops the bomb on him, and says, hey, I have no romantic feelings for you. You're a really nice guy. And this dude is crushed. He is like, he's so crushed. He's running to Reddit to be like, guys, what, what did I do wrong? Is there anything like, let me tell you what's going on, and I need some advice. So, as we know, dating and online dating can be very emotional for both sides, men and women. But this side, we're going to hopefully help this guy out. You know what? This whole post is kind of spicy, but you know what else is spicy? Oh, Smala Sauce, guys. Check it out. Um, A lot of chefs and foodies like it. We are shipping this very, very soon. It's an amazing finishing oil. We stand by the product. High quality made in the USA. SmalaSauce.com. I think real quick, I just want to get into some details. He does say that prior to getting his heart broken by this, uh, I believe, white medical resident, he went on a date with a dentist girl, an optometrist, a PhD student, a NASA engineer, and it was an even split between Asian females and white females, but I became quickly exhausted juggling multiple girls at the same time and decided to raise my standard and focus on one at a time. I'm looking for a long-term relationship and not interested in hooking up. Mm. Um, Was this guy even in the right emotional state to get back into another long-term relationship after breaking up? I mean, if you break up with a girl for 1.5 years, I feel like this. Tell me if you agree or disagree with me. Do you disagree with me? Guys, we won't know that we're in an extra tender emotional state because we're just like not in touch with our emotions like that. Women will be like hyper aware of that and their friends will be aware of that. Mm. But guys, we're just like, no, dude, I'm good. I'm good. And then like deep down underneath the layers that we can't even see in ourselves in the mirror, we're like, I'm weak. Right. I'm unstable. Yeah, Nelson, do you have kind of a rule of like how long you need as a guy that's in a reasonable amount of time to need to like, yeah. Before you go back on the dating, I, I don't think you could put like a number of months, or you, I don't think you could put even a number of dates. I think that you have to look at it like, have you put in the work, uh, whether work on yourself or have you given yourself some time to to process? Have you given yourself some time to to love yourself? And you know, I think it it makes sense because you know if you're not learning from the previous relationship, it's not a good situation, right? I think if you're not learning, then you're not growing, and if you're not growing, there's no there's no point in you dating, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, you're you're basically getting back out there when you don't even have your legs yet. No, it, you know what it is, and I don't want to, and I'm gonna expand on this analogy. I don't want to just say dating is a sport because I think that's gonna sound bad in certain contexts. But there is like an exhaustion level where it's like you just played a hard game, you lost, you're kind of injured, you need time to recover, just like anything. Right. You know, emotion. But obviously, in sports, I'm thinking more. You know, physically. But it's the playoffs. <laughs> There's no time for injuries. We're in the yeah. NBA playoffs right now. Um. All right. So I think that, ha- first of all, has this kind of happened to you guys? It's kind of happened to me where you went on a date with a girl who you kind of built up in your mind. You hyped her up because statistically wise, 
based off her family background, her education, her looks. Okay. And, oh, and you might from? also be looking at it through rose colored glasses or some sort of halo or like LUT filter. Exactly, exactly. A right, halo yeah. effect, whatever it is. But you build this girl up and you get on a date with her and you're kind of like, wow, this girl's like, kind of, I don't want to say out of my league, but like kind of a stretch for me. And, and can we just point out that he said that uh, this blonde girl's 5'9". She has blonde hair, blue eyes. She was raised by his physician. She's a physician and she studied abroad in Shanghai where I lived until the age of 12. This was my absolute dream. Yo, this guy. So was this a mistake? Is it a mistake to, to meet a girl on online dating and then build her up to be a dream? No, I would say no. I mean, I think that's completely understandable. For you, you mean for, it's understandable why he'd feel that yeah, way? Yeah, no, no, I, I it's believe very that, human. You know, it's very human. Because I, I think, once again, I think online dating presents this person's best foot forward, right? It's it's their resume and their best light. It's, it, But it has nothing to, it doesn't show anything about past traumas. It doesn't show anything about credit report. It doesn't show anything about who they dated before their 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 past. Um, and I think it's, but I think it's really easy to get excited. Mm. And the thing too, I mean, you're talking about like sports, right? Like online dating in of, of itself is fatiguing and tiring by nature. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot of swiping, right? It's a lot it's, of ghosting. It's the illusion that the grass <laughs> is always greener, that the, the next person you swipe on is going to be hotter than the one that, that passed on you, right? Like, and that's an illusion. Right, so I think when you get past that, I think, I think it's very important to have an even head when you're gonna take dating seriously online. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, this guy, he, I believe, he is what a doctor himself, but he just, he ain't no, he wasn't. Uh, he, you know what he did, Andrew? He probably was like, Nong gang zhang wu ah. And then she probably was like, Nong gang. And then you know that's some Shanghainese, and he probably was just like, ah! dude, dude, I trust me, I I fell for the trap of like, oh my gosh, this like half. Hispanic, uh, half Chinese girl speaks Chinese better than me. Oh my gosh, this is my dream. Like, dude, it's, <laughs> it no, is that's happening. real though. That's yeah, real. It's real. It's real. But I, I think what he left out and what he probably didn't do is if he's truly ready for another relationship, I feel like you got to say that up front in the first one or two dates. And you have to explain to this person, right. hey, by the way, I am looking for something serious and you're gonna perceive that person through that. Now, for her to be like, you know, uh, I have no romantic feelings for you, you're really nice, uh, okay, bye. Like, that is cold, but that's well within her right. And also, I think that he didn't explain what he was looking for. And for not only that, like I mean, let's be honest, this guy is a mainland uh, fob, so he may be more like, you know, yeah. it'll tapped into that Jay Chow bicycle I mean, with the with the cloud filter, like through the They, the they might not be the, the, you know, each other's types, but. I would actually kind of ask this because I don't think this is really clear based on the Reddit post. My question is, what has he done to to control and and essentially be um, the producer of those dates? What I mean by that is, how is he manufacturing um, chemistry, right? What is he putting into it? Is it all friend zone, coffee date? Like, what, what does it look like? Is it hands off? Is it? Or it, did he did he set right. up? Did a, he didn't. He, didn't say, he doesn't say yeah, he set he, up salsa class. I'm curious. Yeah, salsa I'm, class off the rip. You're right? gonna I'm, feel it, right? I'm, I'm curious if he, did he set up like you know did he organize something really really well according to what she likes and are you is he asking the right questions in the message the messaging part of the of the online dating app right mm. and as he sets it up because that's really what it's about too. You have to. As a guy, oftentimes you have to manufacture the space. It's right. got to be a safe space. It's got to mm. be a space that the girl feels comfortable. And you have to allow there to be room for chemistry. Well, he's probably like, yeah, I told, you know her, I, mean? I told her to get Shaolong Bao because she also live in Shanghai. Yeah, you, <laughs> you know what's a mistake that a lot of guys make, a lot of Asian guys, because they meet a good looking non-Asian woman who's into Asian culture or into an aspect of Asian mm. culture. And you focus on that because you're like, oh, she likes anime. Yeah, let's go to this anime convention. Let's go to this. Let's go to this anime ramen shop. Let's do, do, do. Or, oh, oh, she went to China. She's studying in Shanghai. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Oh, let's only go get Shanghainese food. Let's, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, that's not necessarily the best play. Well, you super get ahead of yourself, right? Because right. you're like, you're my dream. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's a, a good basis for friendship, which is fantastic, right? But that's not necessarily a basis for romance. Yeah. Right. And so I think us Asian guys too, you know, I think you have to look at it like, you know, how do you how do you make sure you're you're actually putting the right moves out there, you know, that mm -hmm. are not just friend zone moves. Well, 
Yeah. I want to yeah. ask you this, Nelson. Yeah. Have you ever been on a date with a girl that you felt like was kind of out of your league and and she she kind of dubbed you, ghost you, or it ended quickly? Of course. Yeah. yeah. So how yeah. did you feel when you went on a date? Like when you get that match with this high quality woman, you're like, whoa, you know, like I don't deserve this. Right. I mean, I think that mentality is a double-edged sword. I mean, because I think it's it's good to have that humility and that that realness that says, man, like, hey, thank you for spending time with me. But on the other side of things, it's you want to also look at like, hey, we gotta we gotta see if we're compatible here, right? Like, right. you gotta be able to riff with them. You gotta be able to see if if they have the, the same type of humor, yeah. the same type of affection, maybe the same love languages, etc. Right? Yeah. And mm. I think I think if you're looking at it just from like, oh my god, like you're on a pedestal, and like, what am I doing with you? Um, why? Am, like, then all of a sudden, you're like, you're not in a position of confidence, no. and that's a that's a huge disadvantage. Or, or you're in a position of like naiveness there's like, part of that because a lot real. of guys girls are always sensing this is my opinion girls are always sensing if the guy likes them but guys are not always sensing yeah, yeah, if yeah. the girl likes them that's, back that's yeah. I'm, you I'm, know I'm, guy, I'm, guy yeah. be just, i like you yeah. um, bro i'm no, so i'm I, so I, guilty I, of that though for sure. i think a no, lot of guys all, when they like think about oh this girl's a, a good woman this is a good woman i gotta do this and this and this i gotta hit the check marks but you're just running through the, the 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 dinner you're running through this you're right. right you're not really digging deep into what she actually wants um but david you're thinking about the connection right right but right, real quick i gotta ask is she right or wrong for saying that she she felt no romantic connection because that was real i think she's she, right she said it she i think she's reason. right she didn't waste his time yeah but then now they went did go yeah. on three dates yeah. is that considered wasting his time at all or did she need the three dates to tell him that or was she kind of getting some free dinners and having some fun experiences i mean I, not not based on what it sounds like her profession i don't think it's a free dinner but that being said i'm generalizing here but i do think though that she's preventing more waste of time if, good. if by three dates there isn't a, a physical chemistry or like some type of relational chemistry there uh. Right. So I think that's very nice of her to be able to say up front, like, hey, you know, I think we're good friends or I think we could be friends, but I don't think it could be more than that. I think that's that's admirable. What yeah. do you think about his part where he goes, yeah, maybe I was too uptight and did not escalate physically. I have done plenty in the past, but this girl is very accent, firm on bro. boundaries and pro accent. properness. I try to stay respectful. I'm for. He's like, I am decent looking myself. I am not an Asian Chris Helmsworth, but I am okay. I'm 5'11", 185 pounds with 15% body fat, and I serve in Marines. In fact, I studied chemical engineering at an Ivy League school, and I'm currently in my fourth year of PhD at State Dude. Flagship. All right, him... <laughs> Doing the whole math equation thing is a little, it's, it's a, a little bit, bit odd. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. to be like, well, I do this and this and this and this. So how can it mean this and this and this? Because if A plus B Damn. plus C equals F, then yeah. why aren't I getting it? Right. Is there, we, we got to acknowledge the elephant in the room. You know how people say they're like Chinese people or Asians, but maybe I want to say mostly Chinese people are robotic. Is he thinking a little <laughs> bit like this? Like data from Star Trek? I mean, is he being yeah, a little maybe. bit robotic about this interaction yeah. or at least robotic in a Western gaze? I could totally, it seems like Klingon or what, 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 I was, mean, what was Spock? Spock was uh, Vulcan. Vulcan, yeah, yeah. Half Vulcan, like Can Spock. It, here, here's my thing. You know, I Sp think, Spock was based off Asians, yeah. by the way. I think matching online can be statistical. Like you see each other's stats, the height, the weight, the yeah. blah, 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 the looks. Okay, it matches up with mine. That match can be statistical chemistry is not yeah and there was no chemistry between the dating two. dating can't be just on paper it doesn't work that way yeah but all right so i have some quick reasons because i guess hopefully this is helpful to the op who posted this and, and what are some possible reasons why she was not interested romantically and i think some women who are have their pick of the litter have their options who are uh educated and good looking mm. they honestly can go on dates with all different types of guys right. she might have just been interested from an exploration standpoint and be like oh i haven't dated that many chinese guys from shanghai yeah, let me yeah. just could see it, what this is like could it even been as you know as crazy as it is in 2023 we're talking about x and all these things this is more like a modern type of yeah. word uh modern terminology yeah. it could he just could have had bad breath one of them i'm <laughs> saying it could have been as it, it could have been yeah yeah as minute as that been. And as macro or, as like you're just too fobby for me, or I don't, or or as shallow as I'm not physically attracted to your your facial aspects. I mean, under absolutely, and also we have to think about this, David. Like, 
she could also have not been monogamous in her exploration phase. So she could have been like, you know, maybe I like this other guy more than this yeah. guy, the OP. And you know what? I'm going to let him down easy by giving this example, uh, mm -hmm. you know, this explanation, right? So, so we don't know too much. We don't know her POV. Uh, but in reality, like what the OP can do better, my opinion, I think one, I think he needs to probably be a little bit less so on presenting the stats. I think in the end of the day, that is that that kind of stuff is not measurable in real life, right? Yeah. Number, I think number two, it just also sounds like he needs to loosen up, right? Based on the fact that he's already self-admitting. But Nelson, loosening yeah. up, that's one of the hardest things for a educated Asian man to do. It can be, you know, <laughs> especially we're not, for Chinese. Yeah, let's be real, yeah, yeah. especially for Chinese, but all Asians. Yeah. Um, anyway, let's just get into the comments section. Yeah. This guy said, have you ever thought that maybe it's not you and she just had other choices she liked better? Maybe you shouldn't Monday night quarterback this and move on. Accept the layoffs as part of the statistics of eventually finding somebody suitable. Hey, you got to take L's in this online dating game. I'm telling you, man. It's just like if you lost a game in a sports game in yeah. your rec league, are you going to think about it the next two, three weeks? You got to keep well, it moving. Like, well, the best people do move on and they just have a next play up yeah. mentality but yeah and i don't think the post game review is bad i think it is good to right. to yeah. do some oh, review yeah. and think about it a little bit but ultimately you 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 got another game to play what's the next comment um this guy said uh any well the guy asked any idea on managing the mental game when dating high quality women and this guy said you know what? I think this is where it all went wrong. Let the women request exclusivity and make a call. What you are focusing on one, you're focusing on one girl when no relationship with that one girl even exists yet. Mm, women have a yeah. sixth sense for desperation and sixth sense for who's getting lots. If you heard of the mimetic desire, everybody wants what everyone else wants. Let's say that the strategy worked for me. Mm. That's interesting. Uh, he's talking essentially, and this is... Um, you can apply it to dating and he's, he's breaking it down to mimetic desire. But I would say, like, I never even heard that abundance mindset versus scarcity mindset. Yeah, and you yeah. act different. You feel different. It may be potentially even the pheromones that you know how dogs can smell pheromones right. and hormones, maybe even release different when you're in abundance versus scarcity. Man, that's a, that's such a good point. I mean, I think you do want to look at like, Hey, you know, if I miss a shot, there's still other people out there. Look at, you know, look at that failed dating experiment as a, a learning lesson, right? Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, I also look at like, what can I do to best prepare myself for the dating world to be my best version? Number two, you know, like, I think you have to also fix your mentality when you're dating somebody with, with high standards and whether you're looking at using the term high value or not. I think that's a very, I don't know. I think if anything, that's a, a, a term that, that's probably used inappropriately for some women but in reality, I think you should always be having high standards when you're dating, right? Yeah. So I think you should always be putting your best foot forward. Uh, we're talking your your character, your traumas, your your bank account, mm -hmm. right? Your your job situation, like your your dreams and values and all that. Um, get those things in line. Yeah, and he might be. Let's be honest, Andrew, partially white worshiping because he's Shanghainese. <laughs> Let's be, keep it real, man. That's an yeah. internal Chinese stereotype. I don't even need to get into that. I yeah, we don't need that. to get I'll into that. But hundred Google links to that. There's some back. I mean, you know, French. Yeah, the, the, it was a colony. It's it a colony. colony. It's part of, of China. Anyways, to be then, there's another comment that says, "To be clear, you haven't probably done anything wrong, but you just need to find someone who is playing the same game as yourself." And that pretty much means like, hey, you got to find another person that is looking for the same type of situation. Who knows? Maybe this girl's dating three, four guys. Who knows? Maybe she's just in a play around phase. Who knows? All Maybe she's just in an experimental phase. Who knows? We don't right. know yeah, because you yeah. don't know because you didn't ask her. Anyways. And you know what I think a lot of guys do? And I don't know if it's a repetition thing or just a rookie versus a veteran thing. A lot of guys like front load their desire. Like he was already imagining a life with this woman traveling yeah. back to Shanghai sure. and going on the bun and Waitan and going to Shin <laughs> right. and all this yeah, stuff yeah. with her. And it was like, I noticed a lot of girls, they more like backload. It's the, it, it does change, obviously, if this dude is super hot or whatever. But like I'm saying that girls like more grow into it and dudes will like front load it. I think that happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's like just that. a fundamental mismatch right there because she mm -hmm. was going to grow into it. Maybe, like you said, she's seeding so, five different Chinese it's, PhD it's, Ivy it's League potential. guys. It's potential. So, yeah. David, do you have a tip? Does anybody have a tip on how to not hype yourself up when you when you match with a high-quality woman? High-quality woman. Like, how do you – like, do you treat all dates the same? I would say that you 
got to get reps in, but you got to get the coaching too. And that's why I think it's good that this guy went to Reddit because let's be honest, a lot of Asian guys, especially this guy who came from 12 from Shanghai, he doesn't have the bro coaching to go over game film. You know what I mean? And when you don't go over game film, let's just like in defense and basketball, if you're messing right. up a coverage, you're just going to do it again and again and right. again. Exactly. Until you do watch the game film with the coach and then you fix it. Yeah. So I think that that's the main thing. Like if if you are a guy who's like constantly front loading mm. your your like love for somebody yeah. or your I, lust or I would say like when you're dating, man, you cannot put too much into one singular date. Like you should have your mid tier spot that you know you're gonna take them to. Yeah. And if the girl doesn't like that, if that's not nice enough for them for you for them, then that's a red flag right there. You know what I mean? Because you yeah. you, know, you want to take a you want to do something nice but not too nice for the first date because ultimately you're not trying to set that expectation well, super high. This guy was doing too much. He said yeah. nice restaurant. I took her to a concert mm. the next day. I'm, it's almost like he was statistically trying to convince her yeah. with the dollar he, spent. Well, he thinking about it like a game of magic with yeah, like yeah. the mana and stuff. I mean that's a term love bombing, right? So you have to be. I think one you have to be careful about that. I think number two, yeah, you could definitely go into the logistics of like what type of price point are you looking at for dinner. You know, coffee versus dinner, walks versus coffee. I mean, whatever. I think, I think first and foremost, I think you need to come in. I, I think a guy needs to come in with the right mentality. You have to come in with the right amount of confidence. But you, ultimately, you got to be yourself. Mm. And I think where the reps come in too is like, it's like going to a number of job interviews. Like, it takes time to share your story. It takes time to get to the point. It takes time to find that chemistry. I, I personally look at when you look at dates as job interviews. You, you know, half the battle is one because you actually were able to spend time with her. You know, half the battle is just showing up, right? And getting that call to show up. And so I think as long as you could find that fit and be yourself and be comfortable mm. and, and not be so robotic, yet at the same time, don't be unhinged, right? If you can find that, I mean, I think you're in a huge position. Yeah, I, I don't know what he would have to do. If this guy's 12, he's a PhD in chemical engineering, and he came from China, he would need to watch just different movies and different mm. music than he's consuming right now. It would need to be outside of the sphere of what he grew up Maybe with. Maybe take an improv class. A lot of people say mm. improv classes help because it just helps you break out of your shell, helps you try to be funny on the fly. Yeah, do you think it would have worked better had he been back in Shanghai, this type of like overly concerned with analytics and stats? in ultimately a field that is more heart-based, emotion-based, attraction-based, things that are very, very difficult to quantify on a scientific level. Mm, that's a good like, question. And I'm saying, like, if he was back in a place where everybody thinks like that, maybe the girl's thinking like that, too. Yeah. So, the, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that all... I still think he would be over-indexing for yeah. being back in the East, but it would... More people in the East think like this than in the West. Yeah. In the West, they really don't think like this, and especially if he's on a date with a blonde woman. A blonde woman is, like, even more than an Eastern European woman is, like... Gonna be the least thinking like this, in my opinion, probability wise. Right. The most yeah, like, you know, Jane Austen, like Pride and Prejudice. So are you like, saying that he should move back to Shanghai? Yeah, like if she I, was living in Shanghai, she just did a study abroad there. She probably was like, yeah, it was good, but everybody there was too robotic and like stats based. And then he just like bringing it, you know, oh, oh yeah, finally a girl that is gonna accept my stats based uh, analytical uh, non Maybe, maybe he just bombarded like, no, her. No, that's why she just did it abroad there. She didn't go move there. No, maybe he just bombarded her with questions about Shanghai. Oh yeah, what was your place in Shanghai? Oh my gosh, have you heard the fried Chow Long Bao at People's Square? Oh my gosh, did you go there? Oh, did you stay in Jing'an? Oh, did you stay by the button? Oh my gosh, blah, blah, blah. And then she's just like, Dude, what? Anyways, dude, yeah. I, I gotta add one more thing. I mean, go, one go, thing go one thing that comes off to me from the OP's post though is that I bet I, I'm willing to bet that on those dates, like there's something very not just robotic about how he's probably speaking to her. He's probably not even asking the right questions. I don't know. To me, it almost like it looks like he's a kind of guy who would be full of himself, actually, uh. and come off conceited, come off self-centered that's a good point but he's it, like i was not trying to be conceited i was just listing the bullet point and the sub bullets of my I think, statistics i think because like when when you think about asians too and asian men you know when you think about the stats that he's putting out there he's putting physical stats in, in on top of resume stats like this guy doesn't sound very humble i think you know what i mean like it, it sounds like he's three inches taller than the average asian like maybe here in New York he's City. Five, he's 5'11", five yeah. Uh, or something like that, right? Like he's probably more athletically built. He has a medical, he's in the um, medical profession, et cetera. So he already is probably mom's favorite kid, 
right? So mm. he probably grew up with this like Lang Dai like type of you know. Um, uh, you know, my my son's the most handsome in the world. Kind possibly of like mentality. even a more like bionic man. That makes it ranking. That's very. Uh, I mean, I think in the end, I think girls find that very unattractive. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, especially Western women I, do oh, not yeah. like that. Oh, yeah. And I just think it's like tough because for his situation, he's either gonna have to find somebody who's in sync with how he views the world and how he views interpersonal relationship pings, or he's gonna need to go on a long journey that probably involves spirituality, religion. West, you know what I mean? Like consuming a lot of Western philosophies mm. that I'm sure he hasn't been reading in, in chem, you know, chemical My, engineering. You know what I'm actually, saying? Like he's going to need yeah. to go on a whole arc oh, yeah. or just go with more women who think like him. I think they'll bank off of that though. I would be very curious if his dating history involves a lot of women who likes getting gifts, likes the financial aspect of the relationship, but isn't considered high value to him. From profession, from no, no, family no. background from travel history, whatever. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I mean the truth is, man, we're, we're, we're all from the Chinese world. This ain't the most uncommon story I've ever heard. You no. know what I mean? Like, maybe if you're from a different type right. of Asian, even, and like a Filipino is like, you, Dude, don't, you don't know anybody like this. Trust me, this sort of like, almost like throwback to the dynastic imperial era thinking, it, it ain't no. that uncommon. I'd say it's like, 20% of dudes. You know? Listen, dating a high-level woman is not like getting into an Ivy League school. He's totally treating it like that. Oh, look at my stats. Look at my stats. Mm. Look at my stats. Why didn't I get in? Point, why didn't I get in? And he's like knocking on the door of like, you know, Yale. Why didn't I get in? Um, That's a good point. Yeah. But yeah, I would also say going off your interview aspect, this is my last takeaway. It's like, as a guy, you have to, and I think this is what you have to do to do online dating, to have stamina in online dating. You have to feel confident in yourself that you will and can match with women. And you know that you have the value. It's like when you go into a job interview, probably the job's gonna take you if you come off with that confidence that you can get another job. Like you want this job, but you are capable of getting another job. Right, right. Because the employer wants to know, oh, other companies want you, cool, we're gonna take you. So I'm just saying as a guy entering online dating and if you're gonna be on there for a while and you're not gonna just emotionally break down because it totally is emotional, you gotta feel secure in yourself and be like, you know what, I lost one, but I'll probably meet another girl that's a better match. So it's cool, I'm gonna keep moving. But she had a fried solon bo and nanzen sulu. She went to nanzen sulu. I'll say this, man. Uh, this is just my general advice as a takeaway is like, I feel like take all girls to like a mid-tier spot and then see if she likes you more versus investing in the omakase dates right off the bat. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm, but I'm, let's be honest, a lot of like more yappy dudes with the corporate jobs, and you know, yeah. I'm sure he has a high salary into Ivy League. They go with the, they lead with the omakase. Yeah, I don't think that's sustainable, you know. I don't think it's financially wise either. But, you know, I, I think to, you know, to echo what you're saying, though, and I echo what, what, what Andrew's saying, I personally think stamina is a big deal. But I think sometimes it makes you really value meeting somebody offline. Mm -hmm. And, you know, coming from that, and once again, yes, you've been able to go on dates and sometimes it feels like it's a turnstile, it's a revolving door, it's, it's literally just swipe, swipe, swipes, and then you could line up your entire calendar full of these dates. But I think sometimes when you meet somebody organically and you're like, you know, like now I'm kind of like getting rid of a number of these these meaningless ghosting conversations or, or these, these, um, these, maybe these conversations or these messages that end up going nowhere, you're, you're actually able to be real with somebody and you can feel them out in real, real life. And there's something sometimes so valuable about that. That's a good point. Yeah. I guess my last point is, uh, Andrew, what do you think? Do you think this will ever change? Do you think that Asian families will continue in the role player game of life to like, you're not League of Legends when you're building up your character with XP points or whatever you want to call it. VC and 2K, there are certain overlooked areas or you could build a holistic player. But would you say a lot of like Chinese guys or Asian guys from really educated families, it almost feels like that romantic EQ sector was like they didn't get any distribution of points on their base player. Yeah, I think it'll continue for a while, but I do think as long as the guys, man, if it's the key is to recognizing that early on so that you can get the coaching and the practice in. So you that need to you up can, that attribute bar yeah, that is yeah, low. Yeah, because it may not come from yeah. your family. But anyways, guys, we're going to wrap it up right there. Shout out to Nelson for joining Thanks us. For Hopefully me, guys. that talk was somewhat helpful. If you're a guy who's getting an online dating, let us know what you think. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought about the OP situation. Um, and check out smallassauce.com.
Yo, you know, yo, bring I it on your next date. Yo, the way he was talking about his stats, it was like he was at that Shanghai singles park where oh, the parents try to match yeah. up the people with dude, the phones. Dude. Dude. Like a trading card. Anyways, guys. All right, everybody. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. Peace.